Hey, 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 everybody. It is Saturday. Let's see, February 2nd, and I'm on my way back to the White Mountains. Go figure, huh? Um, original plan today was to do Flume Slide, um, which is a pretty aggressive trail even in the summer. And uh, we've got quite a bit of snow out there, but unfortunately today is not the warmest day. Um, and also the snow we got, the last bunch of storm because of uh, snow, I guess because of the polar vortex we're having, was that fluffy, fluffy snow that doesn't compact. And it's making uh, the steeps very slippery. And uh, so we decided between the, those two factors, rather wait till there's a nice either icy base well there's probably ice underneath all the snow but um, nice hard pack um, so we can do crampons and you know ice axes would be effective so anyways uh, our backup plan was Cabot so I'm on my way out there my original plan to do when I did Cabot was to sleep in the cabin at the top but uh, I couldn't get anybody to do it with me and uh, this is gonna sound real manly but I it just seems creepy to me <laughs> to sleep in a cabin up on a mountain by myself. I don't mind sleeping in the woods in my hammock by myself, but I don't know, just something about that cabin, it does kind of smell funny too. So I figured uh, if I was uh, going out on the edge there and doing something that I thought was creepy, I wanted to do it with some. But anyways, um, I'm, all, I'm outside of Gorm right now, going to meet Dolores at the McDonald's, get a couple egg McMuffins. I know, very vegan of me, right? Um, and then uh, we're gonna get one car. I'll probably park at Walmart. Walmart's a good place in Gorm, New Hampshire to carpool from. And then we'll head up to the Cabot. And uh, we heard it's broken. We'll see. This is actually our second attempt to do Cabot. Uh, the first attempt involved me getting out of out of the car, looking at. Dolores looked at the trail. I looked at the trail. I peed. It was cold and uh, we decided to go do waterfalls and then we ended up doing Galehead instead. And I have not yet to this day edited that video yet. I kind of skipped over it because I'm doing this camping challenge and the, the following weekend I had camped out in negative sub-zero sub weather and I wanted to edit that video first and I haven't got back to the Galehead thing. Uh, work's been crazy. That's why I didn't hike yesterday, and then next weekend, I'm not sure if I'm hiking because next weekend is our um, beginner backpack, I keep saying calling it a backpack, beginner winter camping series starts. So it was part one, um, this is for the beginners, and everybody, we're all going to camp out next weekend at Sugarloaf 2, and, and so uh, I could probably hike something small in the morning before, but I'm not sure yet. But anyways... I have uh, done enough of these videos in the car, babbled along, but unfortunately, as you can see, it is pitch dark out still, and it's the only way I can get a video before I leave the trailhead this time of the year. So I can't wait till summer comes, put the trail runners back on, the uh, shorts, the t-shirts, and film out of this car. <laughs> but until then, I'll see you out on that trail that we hope is broken because I am feeling kind of lazy today and I, I broke so much trail last year in the beginning of this year and before winter I just want a couple breaks <laughs> so let's see here we go Here we are, a little bit down the trail. Dolores took off on me because she says she's slow. So when she sees my comment about earlier, she's really gonna freak. So anyways, we are at the intersection and we got 2.8 Kilkenny Ridge Trail, I guess. And Mount Cabot is four and a half miles from here. York Pond trail goes off that way. Obviously nobody's been up there this winter and a bunch of trees down and we do have a broken trail not not sperm enough from bare booting and micro spikes but definitely good for snowshoes so here we go 
So I'm catching up with her. Here she is. She should have started earlier. So up here. Up here we have up here we have the that's Cabot right there. Here behind the trees is um, the bulge. And then the one over here is the horn. So anyways, let's get back to it. We're gonna go downhill before we go uphill. Nice, love here it. we are, probably about a half a mile from the intersection of uh, Kill, oh my God, I just lost that intersection, uh, trail of killing, whatever the heck it is. I'll put it on the top. Um, Cause I think we're on Bunzel, Bunzel Notch right now. Uh, so it's starting to get a little bit of steepness. Pretty gradual up so far. Um, So today, oops, so today I actually crossed the straps on these snowshoes and it seems to be more comfortable on my foot. Haven't gotten as cold. Just switched over to using the Telebeaters for the first time today so far. But, and snowshoes the whole way. Hopefully nobody's behind us post holing because this snow isn't, this base is not stable at all. You'd go right through if you were uh, bare booting or in micro spike. So, hoping to have a smooth one down. I don't know if you can see it. I got the heavy butt sled today because Dolores has my light one. She didn't bring hers. So, I was a nice guy. Let her use the light butt sled. Only hike on one hiking pole because she forgot her hiking poles too. <laughs> and I gave her one of mine because I'm such a gentleman. Um, what are friends for, right? What a trail husband's for. Shh, don't tell her I said that. She hates that. So anyways, I'm going to try to catch up with her. She's uh, going slow, but I'm going slower for some reason. I don't know why. But anyways, let's get up this hill. And the next stop should be the intersection and the cabin and then the summit. So here we go. Look, look what we found. Oh, jeez, it's been out here. <laughs> oh, 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 I saw my Getting off some heat. Whoa. Oh, even wood chips in there. Nice. Here we are. Cabin's right over there. Um, we just went to the privy, got stuck. Let's go over and check out the cabin now.
됐어? 오! 이 자리 걸어 줬어. 네, come walk you in. Hot apple cider. Loris is pack. Mine's in the room over there. So, there used to be a wood stove up here. They took it out though. And I didn't know this, but there used to be a fire tower here in 1964. And there's the cabin. There's my other views. So, it's kind of cool to camp up here. There's cell phone signal too, so you can be in touch with the world too. And it is out of the wind in here, but it is cold in here. Got some new toe warmers in. Changed my base layers, put some, put actually some leg base layers on because we're going to butt slide down to warm up. So it's 0.4, I think, up to the summit. So Dolores already headed up because she's freezing. Um, I'm going to put my snowshoes on, head up, and leave our packs in here. And uh, just bring my camera up and uh, and basic stuff. Grab a glass of water. Glass of water, yeah. Grab a swig of water and head up. There we go. All viewing. Cabin Summit. Parkway Summit. No cabin 4120. Whoopee! Get this camera out of the way because my hand is frozen so I mean it's cool. Check out the views! <laughs> Is there a view over there? Because people have been going over there. Can you check it out for me now? And over there. I think people are lost. Yeah. So, Dolores says this is the summit over here. It's a little offshoot. Uh, when you look at the sign, you go to the left, go uphill a little bit. So, here we go. Here's the summit, I guess. It's exciting. As the other one. I probably went too fast, but my hands are frozen. Ugh. That's a cool white tree. <laughs> yeah. well, there we go. I'm gonna back to the cabin, get my hack, and maybe get some butt sledding video. Pros not dead.